fall run here off of Sanibel Island. It's late October, coming into November. It's the minnow run out here on the coastline. And for the next month and a half, two months into mid-December, there's gonna be these roving schools of bait fish out here. We're in about 22 feet of water. And Spanish mackerel are one of the abundant predators that are running with these fish. Nice little Spanish right here. Grip on her. And uh, we're throwing the heavy minnow jig. You can use a variety of sizes. They're not super picky, but that extra casting weight is gonna help you reach these fish. See right behind me, I've got a whole little bait feed going on. Later in the season, we're gonna see more uh, bonita and albies come mix in here, but we've got the uh, Spanish right now. I'm throwing the ounce and a quarter heavy minnow, and uh, we're gonna let that guy go. Nice little Spanish. Let's see what we can get out here. Now with these retrieves, it really doesn't take much because the fish are so aggressive. Nice fish. Oh, there we go. I think we had sharks blowing up on it right here. So this is a great way to kind of enjoy the fall bite. We had tarpon going this morning and we come out here and now we've just got Spanish galore. These are great eating fish. We're not keeping any today, but they're great for the smoker. Uh, a lot of folks even like them for sashimi and things like that. It's an excellent way for kids to come out and have a lot of action and have a lot of fun. It's super simple. You're just using that straight, steady, fast retrieve up on the surface. You know, these are nice 18 inch mackerel. Plenty within the legal size to keep. And we're just throwing that heavy minnow jig. We've got some smaller versions, a half ounce, a three quarter ounce, this ounce and a quarter. You know, they're not being really picky right now. So it gives us a lot of casting range and we can vertically jig it and snap it in real rapidly. And that's what those fish are gonna be biting on. We can see this feed just slowed down over here, but there's probably some fish that are suspended. So if I just kind of jerk it in here, just like that, we can stay tight. Now we've got some sharks circling underneath the boat, so we may see some interesting action of them getting predated. But nice size mackerel. That's a beauty right there. All right, we're gonna let this guy go. Nice little Mac. We're gonna quickly get up here into the action. Get our jig into the fray. Oh, explosive topwater hits there. So awesome. Here's scrappy little fighters. They're abundant. If you like smoked fish, you know they're, they're good for that. You can see that single hook really makes it easy right there. Just got one hook in there, really easy to remove. We don't have to worry about digging out a treble or tearing up their face, so perfect for catch and release fishing. You can see that finish is holding up really well on the jig. Those are extremely toothy fish but that heavy duty holographic finish is holding up nicely. Go ahead and get another cast out here while they're still in range. And it's just like that. Awesome fishing. There's a lot of areas you can do this, you know, all the way from the Carolinas down here to Florida, over to Texas, Spanish are abundant. They're kind of migratory, so they're only here certain times of the year in this type of abundance. But a lot of fun to take advantage of it. It's a nice one. Oh, coughing up some bait there. Be able to see how close of an imitator we have with these jigs. A handy tip when fishing for these mackerel, I like a nice pair of long nose pliers so you can get down in there, not have to dig your finger around easily get that hook out. We'll let him go. And he's coughed up a piece of bait, so let's see what they're chewing on here. You can see they've got some little sardines, and that heavy minnow is just a perfect imitator right there. We're matching the hatch, we're hooking up, and we're having a blast. 
So the gear we need to target these Spanish off here is real simple. For our northern anglers who target Benito and Albies, it's the exact same products, the epoxy jigs and the small heavy minnows. Right here we've got the 7 8 ounce and the 5 8 ounce epoxy jig and also the half ounce and 3 quarter ounce heavy minnow. They're out here feeding on these glass minnows and small thread fins, so all the bait's kind of under 3 inches. This is an excellent way to imitate that small profile, get out there with a the subtle presentation and have long range casting distance. Now we're doing catch and release today, so we don't want to tear up the fish too, too much. So I usually go ahead and upgrade to a single hook. And we have these in the store. It's This right here is a 1.0 VMC inline black nickel hook. Now we're taking off the stock treble, which is excellent, especially if you're looking to harvest fish. But for the ease of catch and release and doing the least amount of damage, we're gonna go to that single so we can quickly remove the hook, not have to worry about getting bit or anything like that. And it gives us a, still a great hookup ratio. So we've got these bare hooks right, we've got these bare jigs right here we're gonna go ahead and put some single hooks on them, then we're gonna get it rigged up on our light tackle casting outfits. Color-wise, a lot of times greens, olives, and pink tend to do very well. Your bright colors, your natural imitators all do well. We just caught some fish on the silver side pattern. So carrying a variety of colors and especially different sizes, because sometimes it can be real picky on very small bait. And that's where these small heavy minnows tend to be my favorite. Especially down here when the fish tend to hold four to six feet down below the surface, you can let the bait sink and then jig it back in quickly and get hooked up really fast. So let's go ahead and get the hook swapped out here and we'll go ahead and find some more mackerel. So a lot of times we get the question, what do we want to rig for leader when targeting these Spanish and, and Albies that run through down here on the Florida coast? Wire is always an option. It's popular with a lot of folks. If you decide to go with wire, make sure it's lighter than 30 pound. You don't want it too heavy. It'll distract from a lot of bites. What I actually find and prefer to do is use a heavier fluorocarbon. Um, that allows limited visibility, so you're gonna get more bites. And when you bump up to 30 or 40 pound fluoro, it provides a pretty substantial amount of abrasion resistance to those teeth biting. 30 pounds gonna get bit through, you know, chewed up a little bit faster. 40 pound works really well. Sometimes it can be a little finicky, and that 30 pound tends to be a great way to start. So I'm just gonna go ahead and opt for the fluorocarbon. I'm gonna use that 30 pound. We're just gonna tie on about a 30 inch piece of leader and then we're gonna go ahead and get our jigging presentation out into these macro schools. So the nice part about targeting these Spanish is that it's not super technical. It's simple fishing, it's great for the family. It's great if you're you know, new to the area or down here on, on vacation or a snowbird wanting to get us some good action. All we're doing is a simple uni to uni knot. I've got 20 pound Power Pro braid on a 5,000 size reel. I'm just gonna tie a double uni knot that's all the strength you need. You're not using a ton of drag on these fish. It's a great knot. And it's very easy and fast to tie. You know, with this fluorocarbon, you may have to retie occasionally when you get an abrasion from their teeth. But you're going to have a lot of fun hooking up on all those fish at the same time. What I don't recommend is using those, you know, kind of commercial steel leaders that you see at the tackle shop with the red beads on them and that. They may look appealing and really simple, but they're really not a great way to target these finicky fish when they're on these bait fish schools. So taking the time to learn how to tie a good knot, like this uni to uni, is really gonna improve the amount of bites you get when you are targeting these fish. So it was a total blast coming out here targeting these Spanish. We saw those birds working a mile or two off the beach. Tons of activity. We've got the mackerel, bluefish, sharks, all kind of having this massive feed on the sardines moving through. It's fast action, it's easy to do, it's very accessible, and it's fun for the whole family. The epoxy jigs and heavy minnows are the perfect product to come out here, reach those fish at range, follow them with your boat, get tight, have some fun. You know, they are good to eat, smoke them, anything like that. So if you're looking for something to bring home, it's a good option right there. We're all catching release today, but we're gonna go ahead and head back in and see what we can catch later on today.